I'm spying on my boyfriend and he still has no idea. That's crazy that he doesn't know that. Okay. Hi. I'm Kat from Texas. She has an accent. MSA will give $1,000 to when mom would get me paint. I decorated the walls. How dare you. You like it? Oh, good lord, Kat. We just got the walls painted. Now I have to clean this up before the guests come. Her mother's German. I mean Russian. She grew up in Luxembourg, and when her rich best friend moved to town, she became totally obsessed with her son and how perfect he was. Mom always told me how art schools were expensive and pointless. Wait, is she the one buying the paint? When mom would get me paint. When mom would get me paint. You're encouraging her to follow her dreams and yet. Hey, why did your parents name you Cat? You look more like a hippo to me. That's a fat joke. She's not fat. One time when I was 15, mom told us how grandma would be visiting us. I had never even met her or even heard of her before. You've never even heard of your grandma? My mom is coming. It would only be a day or two. Dad got so mad, he walked right out. That was the most Texas accent I've ever heard in my life. Dad got so mad. Dad cooled down and told us he would not be there for the visit. His nose moved. But when grandma came, she looked like a queen. Bonjour. What? So is the grandma French? And is the mom Russian? And is the kid Tex has a Texas accent? Okay, or whatever. When I got to the huge mansion she lived in, I was mesmerized. My room was the size of my parents' entire apartment. Then I met my aunt, who, for some reason, reminded me of the Wicked Witch of the West. Perhaps it was the nose. Um, maybe her eyes. Probably the mole. I've got eyes on you. I then realized she was the complete package. A She's witch. a witch! At what was that? A witch. <laughs> She's like... Oh. At dinner, my aunt's daughter Adele sat next to me. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Adele! Out of nowhere, she knocked my glass out of my hand. Then she screamed loud enough for grandma to hear. Look at what Katrina did. That glass is worth more than she is. Bruh. One summer vacation ended. I started school and was completely overwhelmed when I saw all the strangers. But then I Oh no, she's at school and she's gonna meet the cousin's best friend guy or whatever at the school. It was Jacques and he looked so different. During lunch I sat with him, but suddenly Adele joined us. Jacques, why are you talking to her? My mom told me that her dad is so poor, he smells like garbage. My dad smells great. My dad smells great. You wish your dad was as cool as cats. Adele looked like she'd been slapped, and now it was my turn to give her a wicked grin. Adele made all the kids say mean stuff to me like, Ew, she's poor, get away. <laughs> she even made crazy stories about me. How my parents ran off to be in the circus, and that I was on the Discovery Channel for having abnormally large feet and whatnot. Put those grippers away! He took me to the nicest restaurant, and there I told him everything happening at Grandma's place. Jacques then leaned in and kissed me. It was an amazing night. But when I got home, the whole family was waiting for me in the living room. Who were you out with this late? It was that boy, wasn't it? I don't see how that matters. Her awful dad stole from us. This girl is probably as stupid as her mom. Your aunt was in love with your dad. She was always jealous of your mom because your dad chose her. He knows more about the family than she does. He left me there, feeling ashamed for ever doubting my dad. What? She's not a bad person. Why don't you just talk through it or something? Not what happened? This is your stupid boyfriend's fault. My boyfriend has been fired. There's a lot of predicaments here. I just <laughs> want to know why you hate mom, your own sister, so much. Why did you frame my father? Your father did steal. I saw it with my own eyes. You were obsessed with him. That's why you lie and pretend to hate poor people. It's time for you to get over it. I don't hate poor people. Just Guess what? I did set up Gabriel's father. Just like I set up your dad. He didn't steal anything. I lied. What happened? Suddenly, Grandma appeared in the doorway with Adele. She had heard everything. I'm moving back to America because I want to be close to you. Oh, close to me? Why, so you can tug on my hair like when we were kids? No. Yeah, baby. Moving a little too fast there, baby. <laughs> I'm spying on my boyfriend. He still has no idea. You just watched that video. You realize that, right? None of that happened.
I became friends with rock stars. This is Blackpink, guys. My life was a nightmare until I turned 15. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. My life was a nightmare until I turned 15. Before I continue, please subscribe. Before I continue, please like and subscribe to For Eve. I was born with a. What? Is that the animator? Of course not, because they don't put the animators in the description. I was born with a condition called macrodontia. That meant my teeth were much larger than normal size. I was it born with macaroni and cheese. <laughs> One time in fourth grade, I was waiting in line for picture day when my teacher, Mrs. Smith, pulled me aside. Sweetie, I need you to keep your mouth closed for the picture. No smiling, okay? You don't want me showing my teeth, do you? It's just that. You're such a pretty girl and your teeth just may be a bit distracting for the picture. Why would you say that? That's like traumatizing for the child. A teacher is I have a condition, you witch. Maybe I shouldn't have called Mrs. Smith a witch. Is that bleeping the entire stream? I don't even know. Nope. Dang it. But luckily, I told my parents everything that had happened, and they were furious. That five head, though. Also, this woman is married to Moist Critical. <laughs> they got my teacher fired for discrimination against a kid. True. Kind of, I think. Yeah. And I felt pretty pleased with myself. Though, unfortunately, one day, everything changed when a new girl came to our class. Her name was Lydia, and she was a famous child actress. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Class. Her name was Lydia, and she was a famous child actress. Wait, I'd what? Love Soon I found out Lydia was right. Lydia? Her name was Lydia, and she... Okay, whatever. And by lunchtime, I decided to study in the library for some peace and quiet. I tripped over someone's shoe from behind. We both fell forward, and I landed on top of some girl. You got lunch! Get off me, you jerk. Jeez, I'm sorry it was an accident. Please, I know who you are. You're the new bodyguard of that teen actress Lydia. You think you're so important hey, that what? you don't have to look where you're going. First of all, I don't think that at all. And second, I'm not Lydia's bodyguard. I'm her best friend. <laughs> well, she's telling everyone you're her new bodyguard. I found out later the girl's name was Kara, and everyone was super creeped out by her. Part of it was because she wore black lipstick and dyed her hair That's white. scary. Yeah, but her comment about me being Lydia's bodyguard was just so weird. So I decided to confront Lydia about it. And when I hey, did, wouldn't it be better if you hired some big, tough adult? I mean, I can't fight a weirdo stalker. Soleil, you're my best friend. You're the only person I trust. Don't you're my worry. best friend. I need I you to, to fight the bullies. I was walking Lydia down the hall when this muscular jock tried to shove me. <sighs> Out of my way, buck teeth. I want to talk to our local movie star, a.k.a. my future girlfriend. Lydia just looked at her. The guy grabbed my shoulder, and I had no idea what he was going to do. I turned to Lydia for help, but I didn't see her anywhere. Instead, some girl pinned the guy's arms behind his back. It was Kara. Oh, okay. Leave her alone. Harassment. So, my mom's a cop and can have you locked up, so you never see the light of day again. True. Kara let the guy go, and he ran off. You ran off. I saw Kara walking into the auditorium, which was empty. This girl was so mysterious. I followed her inside, and seeing her, my jaw dropped. She was playing the piano, and she was incredible. I didn't mean to sneak up on you. Please don't punch me. But you're really good, dude. You're yeah. really good, dude. Yeah. yeah, I play the piano, but I'm not that good. I mean, yeah. I kind of am, but I could never write so in front of anyone. I've always wanted to be a singer, but <laughs> I've never had the guts to sing in front of anyone. So why not sing something now? This is what scoliosis looks like right here. Started to sing something, and for the first time, I saw Kara smile. You should try out for the spring showcase. If you do, maybe I'll accompany you. I felt my heart race. Was she serious? What's that with all these visuals phone, right now? You? I felt my heart race. Ew. At that second, my phone rang, and it was Lydia. I am so sorry, but you have to come to the school parking lot. My stalker just showed up. Oh no. I panicked and hung up the phone. When I got to the parking lot, I stopped short when I saw Lydia kissing some guy. Uh, Lydia? What's going on? What on earth is happening right now? Oh, oh this is him. I decided in the end, I like him. <laughs> I decided in the end, I like the stalker. He must be like really, really hot. He must look exactly like Noah Beck or something. Are you kidding me? 
Do you True. know how exhausted I've been being your bodyguard? You have no idea what it's like to be me. You have no I'm idea what it's like to be me. Oh my gosh, I'm so famous. Oh my god. No, legit though, I've seen a lot more fans recently in person. I've never felt so famous. Obviously, the numbers don't lie, but seeing them in person, that's always fantastic. So the next day, I auditioned with Kara, and it went amazingly. The director was blown away by our talent, and I had no idea what I'd been so scared of. We were in. Craziest of all, all the other performers were chosen, and we got the last spot. But just as we were walking out of the auditorium, I saw Lydia sitting in the back row, and her face was white with rage. Isn't that like a way to indicate fear? Like being pale white? She was so angry that she felt sick and died. Then suddenly, Kara whipped out her phone and held it in front of Lydia's face. A video started playing of a girl screeching. Remember at Grandpa's birthday party when we did karaoke? And you sang like a dying cat? Well, Hurry. I filmed the video, and if you try to get in our way of performing, I'll post it online. You are so mean, Kara. With that, Lydia stomped off, and I was so confused. How did she and Kara know each other? And why did Kara say grandpa? Oh. Lydia and I are cousins. You guys may be friends but I'm the only one who knows she's a two-faced witch. Good animation for a second. Come with me and I'll show you what kind of person Lydia really is. Kara caught my full attention and I followed her to Lydia's locker. Why do they always walk like that? They're always walking like... <laughs> Look at all this stuff she says about people. I grabbed the diary from Kara and to my horror, it was filled with nasty comments about every kid at school. And then I saw something that broke my heart. Lydia had cut out pictures of me and colored in my teeth with black marker. On the page, she'd written, I don't know how much longer I can pretend to be this freak's friend, but her loser status makes me feel so much better about myself. Before oh I could my stop goodness. myself, I burst into tears. I went home and ditched the rest of my classes. I didn't come out of my bedroom for two days and refused to go to school. I was just so depressed and I felt like such an idiot. And then my mom came to my room with some news. So she I, died. Your dad and I finally saved up the money to get braces. We can finally fix your teeth. Why? Because I'm too ugly for you to look at? Of course not, sweetie. This has nothing to do with looks. It does have everything to do with looks because your teeth change. And when she saw me with braces, she <gasps> freaked. OMG, are you crazy? I thought you were proud of how you looked. Yet you got braces, which means you obviously hate yourself. What? That evening, Kara and I had our show, and I was super nervous. We had to go back She's to on the Today Show. Them. That's when we saw a mob of kids in the courtyard gathered around Lydia, yelling at her. They were holding their phones in her face and saying things like "two-faced" and "sicko." What was going on? That's when I saw Kara laughing in the corner. <laughs> As we walked on the stage later together, the audience cheered and whistled. Don't be afraid of the decisions you make. Because life is all about making choices and learning from them. Uh, boring.